considered by many as the father of rock and roll. Come and hang out with me as I share fun facts about historical figures like Chuck Berry. Charles Edward Anderson Berry was born on October 18, 1926 in St. Louis, Missouri. Although Berry was born in Missouri, his parents did not always live there. That is where Martha and Henry Berry, who were the grandchildren of enslaved people, migrated from the rural South to St. Louis in search of better employment. Although Berry is known in history for his contributions to the world of music, he had other interests growing up. For example, Berry became interested in carpentry and photography. That is where in high school, Berry would get his first taste of people loving his sound. Berry, along with a friend who played the guitar while Chuck sang, performed at a talent show singing a song called Confessing the Blues. Although the school staff didn't like the song, the students loved it. That led Barry to go on to learn to play the guitar, but also led to some trouble in his life. Barry would go on to drop out of high school and later get arrested, where he would be given a 10-year penalty for committing a crime when he was a minor. Barry would only serve three years of the sentence and later go on to marry the Meta Suggs, where they would have four children together. Fast forwarding to the 1950s, it was filled with musical success for Barry. That is where after Barry recording a song called Maybelline and introducing it to a record company called Chess Records, they signed a recording contract with Barry. From there, Maybelline would have major success. Months later, Barry's song would reach number one on the R&B charts and number five on the pop charts. Checking out the sound of Barry's song, Maybelline, it was so unique. It had a blend of rhythm and blues, country guitar licks, Chicago blues, and storytelling all mixed in one song, leading many music historians to say that Maybelline was the first true rock and roll song. Barry would go on to make tons of music, including songs like Johnny Be Good, Sweet Little Sixteen, and more, continuing on in his music career. Although Barry's life had some additional legal issues, the contributions of Chuck Berry would not be unrecognized. For example, in 1985, he received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award for all his works. A year later, in 1986, he would go on to become a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Chuck Berry died on March 18, 2017, at the age of 90 years old, but will forever be remembered as one of the founding fathers of rock and roll.